some people believe curators want to compete with urban planners. That's not the case. For me, urban curating is comparable to artistic research. Reflection and intervention, that's equally important. As a curator, I'm able to bring together heterogeneous actors. Precisely here lies the utopian promise of the urban. I believe that residents mainly form public sphere and they are the key to reconstructing our cities for the special needs of today's and future cities. In this context, art is able to take over an active part, sometimes even the leadership for change. As a curator in the city, I'm always moving on the edges of art, bordering urban planning, social work and politics. What are the relevant questions? That's what interests me. Searching for common questions. I try to involve people from different fields and cultures. And this works best when you produce something cooperatively. This is why the concept of the so-called working exhibition, something I have been developing for over a period of years, is so crucial for me. Next to it, I enjoy very much working in a network, bringing completely different people from various disciplines together and translating their particular wishes, ideas, desires to the other party makes a good deal of my work as a curator and I love that. So, in my opinion, an artwork and the context, they need the perfect marriage and in order to make a change it needs it, and I like to be the matchmaker. At the present time, there are dramatic changes happening in European cities. Inhabitants are starting to claim back public space, and they fight for a socially balanced society. And in many places, urban activists are developing a well-heard public voice. Do the face-to-face -face work, and the personal experience is the only way to start a long-term movement for art-activated changes in our cities, which are not just another fashionable trend and have the power of a real paradigm shift. The financial crisis, the crisis of democratic institutions, the gap between the rich and poor, the suffering of refugees, looking at the magnitude of these problems one could fall into a state of paralyzed shock. At this very moment, Actopolis envisioned the agency of civil society without naivete. Local interventions and critical distance, both are characteristics for Actopolis. <laughs>